know it's been a hot minute since I streamed, but uh, <laughs> basically a combination of some changes to my daily schedule, plus Elden Ring coming out, are responsible for that. But we're still around, we're still playing Vault of the Void. I think I'm gonna start with some I-30, just to show off some of the new stuff. And then maybe we'll do some I-50 later on. So, let's... Do I still have a... No, okay. Let's put together something then. Um, we can check out the new modifier since I last streamed as well. This one, blind spot. You don't get to see who you're fighting ahead of time. This one's pretty interesting. I don't think it's actually all that bad most of the time. There's a handful of fights where it's really tough, like against uh, Dolus. That's probably the worst one. But if you build your deck right, you can definitely uh, work around it. Yo, Dan, what's up? Long time no see, I know. Doing pretty all right here. About to hop into I-30 with Hidden. How you doing, man? Let's get uh, Frail Constitution. Two Original Sin. Uh, we'll go ahead and max out Tight Pockets. Probably gonna end up with these two on. We can do all for one, and now we're pretty close. We'll just throw Imperfect Works on, and I think that'll do it for us. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a good setup. So, we're gonna start with a Blade Run, I think. Next one we. Okay, none of the new cards here, which is kind of what I'm hoping to find, although I will say Bleed It Out almost feels like a new card with how much better it is now. Dan says I've been able to go up to I-50 last month and complete a run with both Hidden Decks and Lightning Tempest. That's super cool, dude. Congrats, I-50 is no joke. And this was with, uh, was this with the buffed up hidden last month? He wasn't, uh, I don't remember if you play on the beta branch or not, if you got to use any of the buffs. Although I think those only went on beta, like, uh, less than a week ago, actually. So if you did that with, uh, pre-buff hidden, congrats, man, because that's tough. He was one of the hardest classes. Uh, but yeah, they bleed it out, man, the new upgrade. Just one extra bleed, it makes such a big difference. Really helps out with your clock cards and keeping bleed live on all the enemies. Very cool pre-buff hidden. Yeah, wow, dude. That's awesome. Congrats. I'm gonna roll Cease Exertion here, just to try and get more interesting on commons. Quick Escape's not bad. Discard's a little easier to come by and hidden these days. We can take a Juggle to immediately make that Quick Escape live. This is just a good card in general, too. Why not? This card did not receive any buffs. Still pretty strong, though. Didn't need the help. Have you played any hidden since the buffs, Dan? Also, let me know if my audio sounds good. I, I tweaked around some more audio settings, and hopefully it's nice. Yeah, you'll notice as well that the boss of the floor is... You can't tell what it is when you're playing with the uh, blind spot modifier. Okay, what do we got here? Audio's good? Awesome. Okay, we got a couple of new cards here. This one's pretty neat. Very good, uh... Very good way to, uh, if you, if you upgrade it so it's rigged, start out the fight. Nice full combo, some free hidden blades. Ambush feels so good. Yeah, Ambush is quite strong, I think, in the early game. We're probably gonna try and grab it. Another juggle is cool. Grape Shot. This is a very powerful card, I think, for this deck if we're going to run the uh, Quick Escape, because we can purge the Grape Shot to get 12 block if it's still in our deck. That's really, really good. I'm a big fan of this having the, the Sift instead of the weird setup effect when you purge. It was the only card left in the game that did setup, and it was just such an awkward thing to handle. Sifting is so nice, though. Um, Salt in the Wound is another new card. It's a pretty cool one, but we're probably not going to be able to make any use of it for quite a while, because this is a... The, 
blade starter deck. So we don't have a lot of bleed application. Although if we pick up the blender, we could. Let's just shoot for these, maybe. See what this looks like. Okay, not bad. We do need to go here. Get the voids out of our deck. So the pathing would probably look like this. Very upgrade light. Hmm. This looks like the best path here. All the upgrades are kind of clustered at the back end here, and we're missing out on several of them. But we have this, and this to help out a bit. It could be a little bit tough. Uh, we do have a black stone to start, though, so that's pretty exciting. So, bleed it out is going to be basically unplayable for us until we upgrade it. We just don't have any bleed. I'll cut one slash for this juggle. Definitely going to throw in the quick escape. Um, battle plan is pretty good with the quick escape, too. I'll try to cut one parry. We'll be a bit more aggressive. It also doesn't feel quite so bad to have less defense with the new quickness. Bit of free block here and there, especially when you upgrade it. Uh, you can get a lot of block from quickness. Throw a yellow stone on there or something and you are off to the races. I'll hang on to the black stone. Only tried new hidden on bare bones challenge. Isn't really representative. New cards make it better to play. Cool, man. I'm glad that people are enjoying it. I sure know I am. Okay, um... The tea leaves are... not very good. We are hitting the second shrine. For like 20% less health for... <laughs> maybe an upgrade here if we don't need to heal. I think I'm just gonna take a random void stone. Redstone. Okay, redstone's pretty good in quickness as well, once you get the upgrade. It's also great in the juggles. Yeah, check out this uh, artwork you get <laughs> with Blind Spot, dude. I love it. Really cool. And, uh. Oh, yeah, this is the first run I've done since the new potion system. Or the first run on stream since the new potion system was introduced. We'll interact with that a bit later once we actually have some potions. Gonna bump down the sound effects just a little bit. Okay. Try and get another slash. No? <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll hang on to the quickness for next turn. instant kill him. <laughs> or we could actually just take him out. Build up a bit more combo. Yeah, the the early game fights, Slash feels so much better now. With just a couple Slashes, you can kill the leader in the, uh, the dog's fight. Which is pretty nice. New potions feel really good. Yeah, there's some cool ones. I'm not the biggest fan of the patience potion, but it's not bad or anything. Uh, let's see. There we go. Hopefully we'll find one of the new cards in here. Snuff out. Okay, we got some interesting choices here. Wound is a source of vulnerable. We do have two underhanded tactics in the starting deck now, which is a reasonable source of vulnerable, although it does, of course, eat our combo to apply the vuln. So you don't really want to play this on the same turn as you're trying to actually take advantage of the vuln, and it is conditional. So wound is still decent. Thinning out, not going to bother with it. This would be a good way to start getting some bleed going, potentially. Although we aren't actually going to grab the salt in the wound that was here. 
So I'm not sure we have that much of a payoff for bleed at the time. So I think we... Mm, I think we will go ahead and take the wound. Because we're, we're not going to be able to sift uh, these voids or anything. Those are going to be gone very soon. Let's just take the wound. First upgrade is probably going to be a quickness to then slot our redstone in. Because this is just a really strong option. You get rage, you get block, you get combo. It does so much stuff. Some are way skewed towards belt or brew though. Yeah, uh, some of them are definitely better in one slot or the other, but I think that's okay. Because you at least still have the option. Yeah, I mean, the stealth potion in uh, belt is like, what, half your current threat, which is okay? But skipping the first turn is usually just way better, and you just save that for the end game. And explosive is... Ye I, I feel explosive is actually reasonably well-balanced. Bone plus 40 is pretty good. Although hitting everyone can be really nice too still against some of the fights like the, the spiders. Alright, let's roll in. Can I please draw multiple slashes? I even cut extra parries. Okay, here we go. Let's use the spell. And we'll put some damage on you so that you might spend the next turn trying to heal. Yeah, this is like, we basically only played starter deck cards, plus the battle plan just to draw them on that first turn. And look how much damage we did, man. He feels so much stronger now. Okay, the pup is still attacking. Let's ditch these guys. Play this, purge this. And we'll just leave him alone for now. sure we draw some actual block. I've only used Brew Explosive once, I think, says Dan. Yeah, I mean, it is it is definitely more situational, especially for us in this particular run with the uh, blind spot, not knowing most of the regular encounters. It's not going to be very useful, but that's okay. So this is six plus two if we purge. So if we take four, we'd actually have to play both of these. I guess that's fine. Quickness coming up, so we'll keep the slash. And we've got the boosted combo cap now. 45 damage. <laughs> yeah, the Vuln really is, is probably the biggest individual thing about an explosive potion now, between Belt and Brew, more so than the raw damage. It's a pretty strong potion overall. Alright, get this crap out of the deck. Okay, um... I'm fine with just putting the yellow stone in the other quickness. We are gonna almost certainly upgrade this at some point. Um... Probably not gonna bother with For the Throat yet. I will swap out one underhanded tactics for Wound. And I kind of want to play another juggle. I could cut a parry. Yeah, I'll cut a parry. I feel reasonably confident. Oh wait, what did I just put in? I did not put in juggle. I think I put the did I put the parry back in. <laughs> what did I just do? <laughs> Let's do this. Nobody is attacking me, huh? Interesting choice. I think we're gonna use the spell here and just max out our combo. Okay, yeah, we're good now.
both juggles coming up. <clears throat> I kind of want to keep the quick escape. Um, just hit him with the underhanded tactics here. Yeah, let's do that. Weaken him up. Discarding this as a full block now. Actually, just kill him. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need to worry about trying to mess around with splitting damage and stuff. This guy's evasive. Just, just don't bother. And this will just kill him next turn. Get out of here. Alright, we are cruising so far. No problems at all. Ooh, secret room. Okay, actually though, this is... Hmm. <laughs> this secret room kind of destroys the rest of my pathing here, huh? So I miss out on this elite. I miss out on this artifact chest. These are, like, not super high-value nodes. Like, I might buy a stone at the Soul Collector. But... Mm, elites are really good, man. The upgrade points would be pretty massive, though, I have to say. We're definitely behind on upgrade points, and it's gonna continue to be the case. Maybe I just take it for the upgrade points, you know? I could see that being the right answer. And rare cards are fun, you know? We're not gonna have, like, any money to spend in the shop. I don't have any potions yet, either. This would be my first potion. Well, you know what? Why not? Let's do something a little unusual. This is not the play I would normally make, but... Let's have a bit of fun. Let's check out the chest here. Smoke bomb, huh? That is pretty good. I'll take it. Also, is it just me, or did the previous screen say I only found one upgrade point, but then it still actually gave two? Double check on that. Okay. We'll upgrade the other quickness for sure. Uh, we aren't playing with adaptation, so I'm not too concerned about the wound having three vulnerable. Goals are an option. I could also just put in the bleed it out fully, expecting that I'm just going to purge it over and over again. Because it's actually, like, pretty reasonable. Just putting three bleed over and over. And we have a lot of draw discard with the uh, juggles and the battle plan. Let's just go for the smoke bomb, though. We'll get a green stone for it eventually here. So I feel like I can cut... Now that we have the Yellowstone Quickness upgraded, I'm going to cut a parry. Throw in the Smoke Bomb. Still going to hoard our Blackstone for the moment. It might just go on this Gusher. Uh, and we'll see what's in the card pack. That might change things too. Oof! Feels bad. No counter for me. Uh, so the only thing I'm really considering here is the Bide. Bide is quite good. Is it worth purchasing? Hmm. I mean, I don't really have any good block that I've picked up, so the answer is probably yes. That is one thing that, uh... The, your starting damage has improved dramatically, but your starting block is only a little bit better. So you do still need to be on the lookout. It's mostly the quicknesses that add the extra block. You do have the quick escape too, of course, but that's like, that's it. <laughs> in terms of block. So I feel pretty good about that buy purchase. Alright. 
the wound. Hoping to see probably the underhanded tactics extend his vulnerable. No. Okay. And <laughs> we didn't draw any block at all, basically. That's too bad. We'll take a smidgen. It's really not a big deal. This is our last turn of Vuln here. Kind of want to push damage, but it's not that much damage. We'll use the spell. Go with the two combo. Yeah, that felt reasonable. Ideally, we draw either Bite or Quickness here. There we go. Plus, we have the Quick Escape. Let's toss that. Gain our combo. It's not that much. But it's not going to get all that much better. So, why not? Five mostly handles block for us next turn. It's probably too late for Smoke Bomb by now, sadly. So that gives us full block, and now we can underhanded for a lot. This is a very bad hand. Yeah, we need more uh, damage payoffs. This will help with some hidden blade generation. Gusher is really good. Grape shot's always an option for raw damage. Let's just get three energy. Save the other juggle for later. Okay, 36 more damage. Should be able to get there. Right? That helps. This is 12, these are... And twice. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good, no need for the spell. Gusher's certainly strong here. Another redstone that I haven't socketed as well probably needs to come in. Um, could just go on the juggle. Juggle's a reasonably good redstone target. I do feel like I need a bit of extra help for this elite here. Corpse Mound would eat me alive, I think. So... Yeah, I'll put it in the Gusher. Hopefully I don't regret that too much. Cut a Slash. Yeah, we'll do red on the Juggle. Considering building Steam... Let's just try this out. We're fairly early on, the Beard Knock could be really good. Black Gusher, yeah, really, really strong card with an upgrade. Definitely can carry runs. That's why I don't feel too bad about socketing the stone there before I get a chance to see the card shop, or, or the, the card pack, rather, or any of the stuff on floor two. Um, this is definitely a deck that can abuse Aegis pretty hard. Given that the card is coming up, we don't, we have one more Black Stone, no more Red Stones. Only one green, though. Tough choice. I think I'll take Aegis, though. Aegis plus Bide is really cool nowadays, because once your combo cap goes up to four, if you trigger Bide twice, it's 28 block and a full four combo, which I really like. 
Okay. Hmm. How does I interact with the Unknown Encounters mod? You know what? Uh, I'm not actually sure, because I have not picked it while playing under this modifier yet. <laughs> I suspect that it doesn't let you see? I'm not really sure. I mean, the uh, the stealth is by far the more relevant effect that it provides, usually. Okay, so let's see here. Do it this way. And then we'll just have two combo. This is a lot of damage. Stack up the Aegis. I'll have to test out uh, the eye at some point, though, and see what it does. Okay, Smoke Bomb is going to be pretty important here, I think. So this currently is... This is a full block, actually, with the quickness. If I double play it. And then Purge, which lets me do that. Which lets me spend combo next turn, although next turn is when he summons the fish. So underhanded tactics is not good to spend the combo on. So we would just be spending it on a slash, which kind of sucks. Oh well. It is what it is. If we draw quickness, we did. It's actually the best way to do this. I think we want to go slash. And then purge this. Quickness once. Bide. Now I have full combo and rage for slightly extra damage here. Aegis is ready to go. Underhanded tactics will be live on the next turn. So let's just guarantee that we draw it. He's halfway dead. Get Vuln. We're not going to be able to regain combo though. Uh, let's battle plan. This wound is not necessary. We'll juggle too. Yeah, actually, we're just we're just going all out here with damage. These are 16 apiece. Yeah, we'll go with this. And then hit him with the underhanded tactics. We're drawing quicknesses, we're drawing slashes, he's vulnerable. We're just gonna try to kill him next turn and not worry about blocking. Rage, get combo, and yeah, we actually are just gonna block incidentally anyway, because quickness is really good these days. Great fight. I am glad that I uh, did the Blackstone Gusher though, that helped out massively. Um, Greenstone is ready now, so we will just stick that on the smoke bomb. It's gonna be really helpful against this guy. This guy is very rude. Uh, versus hidden, even after all the buffs. Although the uh, relic interaction being different now is pretty relevant. He used to like eat all your stacks of sneak artists, unless you timed stuff really awkwardly and it sucked. <laughs> okay, I think this is actually a good opportunity to use our spell. We'll do this, purge it, let him eat the hidden blade. And then weaken him for like the whole fight. That should work quite well. I don't even want the quick escape right now. I want to gain combo with quickness. Can hang on to it for later though. Yeah, 
I'll deal 36. It's reasonably likely that we draw Gusher. And if we don't, or not Gusher, Juggle. If we don't, we have the Bide for blocking. Yeah, I'll hold the Quick Escape. I would definitely appreciate a Thief's Code in this deck. See if we can grab one from the card pack or something. Okay, no Juggle, but yes, Bide. At this point, we ditch the Quick Escape, I think. Max combo. Go hit. Extend the vulnerable. Not that it's gonna matter. And yeah, that'll do it. Health potion. That's pretty nice to have. Just in case. First Blood is another uh, pretty dramatically improved card, I think. 14 damage for one energy is pretty strong. This would give us a little bit of bleed. Also notably, it just doesn't spend combo, which I think is good enough. Also, with the green stone smoke bomb, building steam is becoming better. Uh, I'm not so sure. Let's let's get the card pack first. Okay. I guess we'll probably be using bide next turn. So, let's just max out our energy. Oh, we drew quickness instead. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how well this Yellowstone quickness compares to a bide, isn't it? We'll save the bide then. Um, we could try to draw underhanded. Let's see if we can do that. Hmm. How much are these hitting for right now? 12. Yeah, okay, let's get Ridge. There's the underhanded. I'll have to purge the bide. It's probably fine. definitely not correct damage allocation, but I'm not really worried about the Gloom Shrooms. <laughs> okay. not challenging once they're on their own. Easy. Alright, show me some good stuff. Hmm. Agility is pretty cool. We're doing a lot of Hidden Blade stuff, and that's where this card's at its best. Opportunist is a nice AoE if we uh, upgrade the uh, bleed it out and bring that into the deck. Uh, the upgrades are pretty tight right now, so I'm not sure how likely that is to happen. Yeah, I, I feel like there's... I feel like we're gonna need to spend our upgrades elsewhere. So, let's roll the Opportunist. Slice and twain. This card got massively buffed. 2 mana for 20 damage is reasonable outright without thinking about the clot effect at all. It's kind of like a uh, killing blow type card now. Exploit vulnerability is probably going to replace the uh, wound just because it's cheaper. Okay, and we actually do get to pray for greed here. 
could have gotten an upgrade point had I taken the tea leaves. Yeah, agility really wants an upgrade. I'm kind of down to just keep cutting slashes. Use another good way to spend combo, that's for sure. I will take out the wound for the exploit. Hemolysis is a better block than parry if I'm actually playing the card, but we're mostly purging parries at this point. Let's cut first blood for grip shot. Sifting the uh, quick escape is cool, plus any status cards and other such nonsense that might get put in our deck. And I could put in another underhanded. Just need like one more good way to spend combo. Maybe we'll draft some cards at the Well of Stars. Yeah, currently we have an excess of combo generation, but not a lot of ways to spend it. Okay. This is a strange hand. I don't think I want to battle plan. I think I'm just gonna purge all of these, but hold the red quickness. We can bop this guy. Yeah, okay, they're buffing each other up like crazy. We need to deal damage. Gusher and Grape Shot are probably what we're looking for. Did not find either of them or the other juggle. It's pretty bad. Well,. The bide is lined up nicely in terms of block. 24 times 3. Yeah, we gotta go for it here, and then we'll pick him off with the... Uh, kinda doesn't matter which one we use, we're just purging the other one. Yeah, bide is actually quite a bit of excess block because of the Aegis, but gives us our combo back. Mm. Parry is 10 block. Quickness is plenty of block. It's very likely that we draw enough. Especially with the jungle still in there for extra draw consistency. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So these are 12 apiece right now. So let's just vulnerabilize you. And we can slap you for a little bit block with the free purges. Ah, go ahead and grape shot him, why not? <laughs> 40 damage, this card's so ridiculous now. Okay, this upgrade is much appreciated, it probably just goes on the Gusher. Gusher's pretty outrageous. But uh, other notable good targets, agility is really good. Um... Actually, is that it right now? It's, it's kind of just agility, huh? Exploit is not going to do anything. Quick escape is not really necessary. Yeah, otherwise I guess it's maybe the bleed it out. I don't really want ambush plus uh, smoke bomb in my opening hand, really. And we have too much combo generation anyway. So yeah, it's just got to be gusher. Changes to make here, I think. I could put in Spilling Steam for the boss fight. Actually, you know, I'm gonna take out the agility, put in Building Steam for now. Ambush I could put in just as like a deck thinner. I think we're gonna try this. 
And I really hope it's not the uh, congregation. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, the one with the birds where when you take you take damage when you draw cards. With as much uh, draw and discard as we have, that would be very bad for us. But uh, I'm not too worried about Swamp Mistress here. I do want to take out the stupid Curse Ward pretty quick, though. This guy is a real jerk. This is 12... Combo. Yeah, I'm gonna use the spell here. Use the spell. So now we can just wipe him out before we get any garbage. And I think I will actually hold the quickness. Show me the fortitude totem, please. Mm, I guess that one's okay. Battle plan away the garbage. Haunted, so we don't want to use the gusher yet. That'd be a huge waste. Do we hold it at all, or do we just get rid of it? Both of our rage cards are still in the deck. Makes me kind of want to hold it. Uh, we do heal to full after this fight, so I don't have the modifier on that changes that. So, I'm more than willing to just kind of wait this out. If we don't draw the block, it really doesn't matter that much. Ideal draw is like the redstone juggle into redstone quickness. Okay. Interesting choices here. I could do like tactics for Vol and then have two stacks of combo? I mean, that seems reasonable. So we go... Gusher first. Then we'll... Actually, we'll just, we'll just do Gusher double at the beginning here. Underhanded. Purge this, ditch the void, or the bane. Combo two. I'm not even gonna play this parry. 24 damage a pop, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Alright! Yeah, the Blackstone Gusher, it's strong. Um, we're probably not gonna use any of these spells. But if we really did want to, Power Ward plays nicely with the Gusher, because it boosts our maximum energy. Spirit Ward is always decent to have just for healing. I'll just take the Power Ward. Hmm. That's not actually very useful. Boost back with a rare is pretty cool, though. We definitely want to look at more cards. And I think I'll save my money. What's our rare? It is Swift Hand. Hmm, we actually have a bit of a tough time abusing Swift Hand right now. Like, we don't actually have particularly good Swift cards, we're mostly relying on uh, Hidden Blades. Yeah, we don't have anything that's actually particularly useful. This can become very crazy without too much effort. But not knowing what's in the next floor yet, I think I'm gonna roll it. Maybe we'll get one of the new rares. Other option I would, would probably be just roll the lacerations. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Very happy to see Thieves Code though. Dances, I think most rares are better than that for this deck. Yeah. The potential is massive, but I'd rather try and just get something that's guaranteed good. All alone. Hmm. That's uh, really not what I was hoping for. <laughs> but I guess we'll take it. One second. All right. Let's see what kind of layout we have here. Hmm. In cold blood. That's unfortunate. We are not going to be able to use that very much. Several new cards here, though. 
Evaluate, Summary Execution, and Bloody Hell are all pretty cool. Um, evaluate is a reasonable option for this deck. Being able to double trigger it with our Aegis means we can get multiple stacks of Volm, even though we don't have a lot of weak, we have no slow. Mithril Blades is obviously amazing for us. Uh, summary Execution... Again, really, we would need to be relying on an upgraded Lead It Out, I feel. So that's a bit rough. Let's see what the pathing has in store for us here. I want to highly prioritize upgrade points. So if we do this, it's two versus if we go down here, we have to skip to get the card we want. So that's probably the starting path there, which means we'll be missing the summary execution no matter what. Uh, I guess that's just going to be okay. Let's just get the elite. You need to go to the soul collector. Cold blood's not that useful. Can't go up there. Yeah, that's true, actually. Blender, uh, I, I think I overlooked the blender a little bit. Blender is definitely a good option for us here. And it turns out we're going to be picking it up, so... That being said, though, uh, I would rather have the upgrade than the summary execution. So what other payoffs are there going to be for having the blade? Could be something in the chest. Um, the In Cold Blood is not actually a great payoff for Blender, unfortunately. We could always choose to go to this card shop instead of taking this fight, I guess. Mm. I'm not really sure. This is a, it's an interesting circumstance we find ourselves in. This looks like the path I want. Uh, we're really light on relics, so it's crucial that we hit both elites. Crucial that we hit the soul collector. Yeah, all right. Let's uh, let's go for it. We should be pretty good against Dragon Mother, I think. But uh, buy it is not going to be particularly. Her, so we'll ditch that. And let's just draw deeper. Yeah, that'll do. We didn't draw any of the stuff we wanted, but we'll just purge everything for energy. Uh, you know, thinking about it now, I guess the... Uh, the Swift Hand would have been pretty cool <laughs> with Blender. We never play the actual Blender and we just keep grabbing it with Swift Hand. That would have been fun, but uh, yeah, instead we uh, took we got this all alone, which is unfortunately not particularly great, um, especially with Blind Spot on, because we don't ever know if the fight is going to be a solo fight or not. Go ahead and juggle away the quick escape. Let's gain our combo this way. Really, you think Swift Hand is one of the worst rares is hidden? It's definitely very abusable on the right deck. Being able to generate additional copies of cards is pretty crazy. Oh, you mean all alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All alone is uh, it's not great for him. It's a lot better on like daughter. I mean, it's its best use is probably just to like stick a redstone in it and get a lot of rage in most cases. So good for like daughter. Good for uh, tempest. Let's go ahead and make some steep. We'll save this for next turn. 
Weakens will be ending with underhanded tactics here. For Weaken. Aegis is ready to go. Yeah, we're gonna be just fine. Uh, can we just kill here? I feel like we probably can. Tempest, it can get disgusting with the X cost that rages. Yeah, I mean, Tempest abuses rage like nobody's business. That was, that was a ton of damage we had right there. Uh, this one is not that great. This one is also not that great, so we'll just take the upgrade point here. Really, really want upgrades right now. And... The Thief's Code upgrade is kind of good here. We're not getting any more green stones, right? Yeah, way out there whenever getting that. So I really don't mind a Thief's Code upgrade. Uh, the agility upgrade is probably not happening at this rate. Other... Yeah, you know what? Let's actually just do Thief's Code here. And we'll slot that in. Honestly, in place of the battle plan, I think. Also, as for this purple stone, maybe just on the other juggle. I wish I had a uh, swift card that I was triggering a lot that I could put this on, but I don't. It's just, like, it's really the only option is underhanded, which I, I kind of don't want to do. Let's at least wait until we get the treasure chest before we spend this purple stone then. We have an interesting choice here. We could choose to completely ignore these buffs and just go crazy with Gusher and the Redstone Quickness. It almost seems like that might just be correct. Just rush him down. He doesn't have a lot of health because he spawned so early. Let's do it. So we can still even play the Smoke Bomb. won't probably need to, because he only has 20 health left. I guess we'll do it anyway, just to guarantee we have the, the kill. Our hidden blades here. There's some vulnerable down. Get out of here. Easiest our chaos in a hot minute. Definitely have the most redstone triggers going on, so we'll take the fire bead. Our chaos becomes so much more difficult by spawning five tiles later. Agreed. Yeah, I mean, when he's got a bigger health pool, then he has a lot more time for the burning to become an issue. Uh, the fumble can screw you pretty bad if you get bad luck with uh, when it hits. It definitely is a much more difficult when you can't just burst him down like that. Uh, but that also was a pretty exceptional open gusher plus our redstone quickness. That was like maximum turn one damage output. Uh, uh, back pedal is kind of interesting. This could have been an interesting bleed run if we'd made some different choices, but I just don't think it's going to happen at this point. Slider's just not going to do enough. Yeah, Dolus, you usually are gonna fight her several tiles in anyway, right? Just because she's an elite and they don't tend to spawn that close to the front. Dragon Mother is not quite as bad these days that her uh, block reduction is not as powerful, but she can definitely give you a tough time if you don't have the right kind of block. But small blocks with Aegis is pretty good for us, so... I'll just take the back paddle here. Escape. 
honestly, <laughs> should I just upgrade the underhanded tactics just so that it deals more damage as our best combo spender? Evaluate upgrade is pretty... I guess so, man. I guess I'm upgrading underhanded tactics. So we've seen the chest now, I think it's time to decide what happens with this purple stone. And now that we've upgraded the Ender-Handed Tactics, I don't feel so bad about this. It's for the Evaluate, I feel like they can't. Um, honestly, the Grape Shot's probably not gonna get more. Now that we have the Thief's Code, I don't think the Purge Sift is super relevant. We're not playing this thing for damage often. We don't have any of the funny stuff that interacts with it. It does not benefit from Rage, of course, because it's an ability. So we have no real means of boosting the damage outside of our vulnerable. So I'll just take the value instead. Eat the yellow crickets. Do not need this many slashes. <laughs> yeah, we don't need any slashes. Quickness is so good these days. Such a crazy guy. This turn, though, is not good. What the heck? Good stuff. Just do what we can. Draw deeper. So even though we're hexed, we can still discard this to get the block. This guy's not attacking, and he's the one we want to put Vuln on. Um, can get the Vuln with Evaluate. Or no, sorry, the, <laughs> that's not how that works. We want to get the Vuln to play Evaluate. It's a really excessive block. I think I'm okay with just taking the here. Get hexed there, ditch that. Gosh. Okay, that was an awkward turn, but he's Void Effigy's mostly dead now, so even if he attacks this turn, I think we can handle it. Yeah, okay, here comes the big hit. Nice redraw on the quick escape. Really like to have some rage here. Let's try and find it. Hmm. Just, just six. We're definitely gonna make him bone. I think we're definitely gonna use spell. It's more fit. Fifteen by four. I guess we have to play the buy it anyway. Okay. That's fine. We'll stack the Aegis back up. These dudes are not that concerning. I don't like building steam at this point. So we'll just get our block with the quickness. What do you know? The Aegis is already ready. Two stacks away. Here's the Blender. So, it's like an interesting situation here where Blender is a pretty powerful card. But I don't know if it's good enough on its own as our only bleed. 
It is a lot of bleed. It's everywhere. Did want an extra way to dump combo. I guess I'll, I guess I'll try it. I guess I'll try it out. This is a very strange situation we found ourselves in with this deck. This is our only bleed card. How good is Blender as your only source of bleed? I mean, technically exploit, but <laughs> not really. Okay, uh, let's get rid of Building Steam. We haven't been playing. It's too expensive. Okay. Hmm. You get another source of card spikes. Honestly, seems like what we're gonna go for. Stimulants is just gonna kill the run if we take that. And we don't have a lot of expensive abilities for the Obsidian Crown. Like, we could put the, uh, deep shot back in. <laughs> but otherwise, it's literally just, like, buy it and evaluate is the only thing that benefits that much. I'll put Grape Shot back in, so uh, yeah, hard spikes. It's good with Thief's Code, it's good with uh, the Double Juggle, it's good with uh, Battle Plan that is no longer in the deck, <laughs> but we could put it back in if we felt like it. This guy sure is scary. I'm gonna keep the Quick Escape since we can just ditch it with uh, Thief's Code. Oh yeah, check this out. This is a very important thing which I uh, have learned to do. I last streamed. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Truly an incredible feat, I know. Okay, uh, this is actually not that much damage, man. I want to trigger his thing. <laughs> this, this is kind of rough here, man. Uh, we're definitely putting Volum on him. But... 25... Eesh. Got Bide coming up. Gusher is here as well. No big deal. <sighs> Can we actually kill him? I don't know. This is gonna be tough. Let's see what juggle gets us. Okay, tactics. Spell is ready. So we can use tactics. Oh, but he's already vulnerable. We don't need Yeah, so we're gonna end on tactics. Blender is not gonna help. Twenty-four tight yeah, we're there. We got this. Cool. It's always a scary fight though. I'm really excited for the Soul Collector though, we are loaded up. It's gonna be good. Another ambush. We're probably not gonna end up using this. We haven't actually been using a ton of the new cards here. In fact, we haven't really been using any of them. But uh we have been using a lot of the heavily buffed cards to great effect, I think. Mostly quickness. Quickness is so crazy. Okay, this fight's not so bad. Don't hold cards. Okay, we're gonna get to use Blender. Um, so let's see, this is gonna block 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3. So that's uh, 13 block. Purge of all, so we can discard this. Go! Smack you around a little bit. Blend them. 
little energy inefficient, but it's not a big deal. And, uh, probably just kill him now? Right? Did Volm? I say no. Double gusher. Equipment down. Dan says, I feel like hidden is the least affected by this fight because you either end the turn by throwing the hint at the enemy or purging everything to do it next turn. Yeah, Hidden and Daughter are really good. It's this fight with Daughter, or uh, Corruption Daughter specifically. You very often just want to purge everything to be gained Corruption. Uh, Enlightened is probably the worst against these guys because you somewhat often want to hold cards in order to uh, get your Zen plays correct. You know, if you, you see where you're drawing and you're thinking, ah, oh, I want to use this opener card, so I'll hold this other attack. Yeah, it can be annoying. But hidden is uh, usually chilling. Okay, how much damage actually is this? This is a ton of damage. Might not need to play this evaluate. Two. Get out of here. Okay, feeling like the deck is in a pretty good spot. Um, what would be the best thing to upgrade? Truthfully, more rage, but we don't have any upgrades. Give us rage, We're just relying on stones. No more red stones coming. Oh, so, that's the case. Why do you instead? An extra volume is not that big of a deal. I mean, extra draw and discard is decent. Buy it is just like a huge block option, it's not bad. Double. Yeah, we have not... I've not really found anything super great for us. I think I'm gonna go with the red juggle because this is a card we play very frequently. Whereas the buy, even though it's like great to have it as an option, a lot of the times we're not playing it and we're playing quickness instead. You want to play your upgraded cards more frequently, so as to gain the extra value more often. Ooh, okay. That is a black stone, and that is a butcher's blade. Uh, the butcher's blade is kind of just giving us one hidden blade per turn most of the time, though. So it's just like a really bad fish hook. Oh, actually, no, it's uh, non bomb actually. So it's not even gonna. It's not gonna do almost anything for us. Eesh. What's in the box? A clover. Uh. Huh. Interesting. That makes me really want to upgrade the Bleed It Out and put that in the deck now. Because we're not always going to draw Blender in a timely manner. Do I take the Butcher's Blade anyway? I kind of feel like no. I wish I just had literally any one card that gave rage. I'd buy this Blackstone and put it on it in a heartbeat. But I don't, and I don't think I'm getting any. Blackstone for the Mithril Blades would be pretty hot, though. Let's take that. Uh, pliers are not that good. So, I guess we'll just take the cheap uncommon. Oh, hey, that's pretty sweet. Lots of overcharge makes the early gushers nice can close out fights pretty quickly if we draw that. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Take the free shrine here. Uh, we don't need to heal, so just money. Blackstone for the knives, the upgraded plus one combo, the agility, yeah, the, uh, a Blackstone on the agility would be pretty huge. I'm not sure we'll have enough energy to play the, uh, the Mithril Blades twice. Although we do have more energy now with the Jumper Cakes and sometimes with the Clover. 
So it's an interesting situation. It's going to be a very big decision how this Blackstone goes. Given that I kind of want to upgrade the Bleed It Out, maybe that means that not upgrading Agility, and then the Blackstone goes on Mithril Blades. I mean, we have one more upgrade point here, though, that we also want to upgrade the Mithril Blades. Although at that point, at three costs, it's very expensive, so... Upgrading it and not Blackstoning it is definitely better than Blackstoning it and not upgrading it. It's just one energy cheaper. So, maybe I just accept the fact that it's going to take me a bit to draw the Blender sometimes, because once I play Blender, it is so much bleed that the Clover will be active forever. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm leaning definitely towards Black Stone Upgraded Agility. Okay. Double Courtesans, huh? I kind of want to play this just for a bit of additional overcharge. But it's not that necessary, really. Okay, that's a good card for him to have hit. There we go, this is what I was hoping. Six out of seven with Gusher. Uh... I need to gain combo with the quickness. I gain block with the value. So we're just gonna go off here. Double gusher. Double quickness. This is gonna be like a lot of excess block, truthfully. I guess we can play juggle first, and if we draw, yeah, there we go. Quick escape. Perfect. Uh, just go after the courtesans. We can kill them both. That's full combat progress. This was probably the best RNG we could have got, double courtesans. Not a bad turn. Stay unupgraded because it'll probably only be used on double gusher turn for full energy. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I think that with the uh, smoke bomb, just on any random turn I draw this, I probably just want to play it immediately. Because it's significant amounts of damage if we have vulnerable up. Uh, really, it just is a question of what would the upgrade be otherwise. And I don't have a great answer, so... One more elite artifact. Boots of quickness is pretty cool. I want to make changes. Oh, I have a blue stone. I should put that somewhere. Probably on the blender. I'll trigger the hard spikes a bunch. Yeah, boots with thief's code. Pretty good. Although it's kind of bad with the jumper cables. Don't really know what else is worthwhile here, though. They aren't applying much debuffs. Spell shield is just generally like, decent. I'll take the boots. And it's the Dolus, but we got pretty good RNG. First turn. Mm. I think we'll do it like this. Does Prism work with Clover? Uh, yeah, I mean, it would it would apply bleed, right, and then I would be able to draw, but I would have to make them vulnerable first, and they don't have that much vulnerable. Or I guess if you're just talking about the order of does it apply the bleed first and then we draw with Clover? That I'm not actually sure. Don't think I've ever had those exact two before. I don't actually get the Clover very often. Okay, 
so 30... I guess we're probably just going to block with Evaluate. Because we can do Exploit to Evaluate and get free Hidden Blades, but they're expensive. Yeah, this is a rough matchup for us. <laughs> this is really rough. We're just kind of at the, the hands of RNG here. We might as well max out the combo here. Save it as a zero cost block. This is this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> Two, da two energy for 24. Is that worth it? Christ. Probably not. Okay, the blender is going to be very important here. It's Yeah, blender is kind of like our only re out here. Oh, three cost gusher. Excellent. I actually have cheap hidden blades. So I don't really need the slash. Aegis is not ready. I need to play five to make it ready. One, two, three, four. I think we're just going to give up on Aegis here. So let's go... Both of these, then the underhanded, then the botted, and this. Okay, well, looks like we're going to take five. We can at least extend her Vulm, although it doesn't make us Vulm. I'm okay with taking a bit here. Burge both of those. Whew. Okay. Clover's online. Uh, I really want to hold the quick escape. To use next turn. Man, this just sucks. We're always doing this. I think we're always doing this as well. This is going to make the Aegis live, so that's pretty good. Get our block. Ooh, okay. Blender is definitely doing some work. Very glad that we had that as a backup plan here. Okay, well, the Gusher's free now. Let's see if that matters. Some block. We can safely purge this. Gusher once. Okay, it's still cheap. Gusher again. Double wide. We have eight. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Seven, eight, one, four. <laughs> this is some nonsense. Okay, definitely gonna juggle now and start ditching some of the expensive hidden blades. Those are basically free discards. This is cheap enough that I'm just gonna play it for rage twice. Okay, yeah, we're good. Well, that fight was a little bit spooky, but we actually came out with uh, only eight health lost, so it's not bad. So we're going to get the Mythal Braids and probably our final upgrade point, which I do think is going to be on Agility, and then we Blackstone it. Mithril Blades goes in, probably instead of the Slash, or just we're not playing Slashes anymore, just like ever. Yeah, okay, 
Let's see what we can do with this. Berserker, always a bit of an issue when you're doing Hidden Blade stuff. Let's just see. If we put Vaughn on him, we might be able to rush him down with a good draw next turn. Also, we're going to draw an extra card now because of the bleed. That's a pretty big deal. I'll actually have to fuck this. Now we have quick card. You know what? I should probably honestly be using the power ward just for delay rage. I'm so desperate for rage. Maybe juggle gets us some rage. Did not get us some rage. Feels bad. Yeesh. It's just not enough. It's just not enough damage. We didn't draw this, or this, or this. Ooh, do we go for it? That is the question. It's only three. I'm gonna go for it. It's not that much extra damage, truthfully. We get the overcharge here. We get the Aegis ready to go, so we draw the Evaluate, which is guaranteed. Is a juggle. It's 20 block. Purge, purge, purge. Yeah, and actually, you know, we're triggering the card spikes often enough at this point that I think the bleed it out was never necessary. Okay. That is a large number, but it's not actually that bad. it on you. Actually, are we gonna Gusher? I'm not sure we are. We probably should, though, to get more eight stacks. There's also the thought of drawing with Blender and Juggle. <sighs> this is quite the circumstance. <clears throat> if we do just, like, purge everything for energy, two quicknesses with the Gusher giving us a million, it might be enough, honestly. How much energy can we get? We want to get three more. One, two, three. This is such a wacky circumstance. If I fail, I might die. I'm gonna have the health potion. Take this for all right. You know what? Let's let's give it a try. Let's give it. A try. So, purge, purge, purge. Gusher for a bajillion hidden blades. Double quickness. And I could choose to gain some extra rage here. I think there's actually more damage if we do it this way. Yeah, it's definitely more damage. What am I talking about? draw and discard all of them. Okay, <laughs> we made it with eight blades to spare. What a ridiculous, uh, ridiculous amount of hidden blades we get with Gusher. So we have this overcharge. Okay, final upgrade point, unless we get any from the Well of Stars, it is going to be agility. Because that makes turns like that all the better. We're never playing slashes anymore. I will cut two of them. One for agility. One for mythical blades. And honest to god, we'll cut the third one for battle plan. A little bit more draw consistency. I think it's going to be good. Who are we fighting? Oh, and the spell. Yeah, honestly, let's uh, let's use Power Ward. Overcharge 2 for the Gusher turns. Birth Pit. This one's always interesting. Uh, 
Uh, it's definitely right to play Blender to get the Clover going. Hmm, okay, yeah, we'll hang on to that. So this is where the sidesteps nice. We just ditch it. And this seems like a pretty crazy turn. Purge this and hmm. all of these pieces are individually important. I guess we're not using bind. I think this is where we leave it. We are healing to full after this again, so now we just go slightly less than maximum gusher, but then we boost our combo up to 5. We have 50% rage, apply vulnerable, 48 per hidden blade right now. Yeah, there we go. Massive. Retaliate's pretty cool too, this uh, is guaranteed rage immediately rather than delay rage. Okay, what are we going for here? Do I want a green stone for the mithril blades? Darum, what's up, dude? Yeah, I am, uh, I know it's been a hot minute since I streamed, but here we are again with this, uh, new hidden stuff. It is pretty cool. We've got an interesting run going on here. Uh, Lots of hidden blades, making heavy use of quickness. How you been, man? It's probably too much to rate greenstone the blades, isn't it? Because that'd be like five mana of stuff that I'm expected to play turn one. I don't think I can do that. <sighs> what are the upgrades? Oh, Blades is a good upgrade for sure. Maybe Quick Escape, maybe Jewel? I don't think I really want a booster pack at this point. I'm fairly happy with the deck. I mean, all these parries suck. Uh, yeah, actually, a lot of stuff has changed to room, if you didn't know. Uh, take a quick peek at the uh, Steam update page. Uh, you'll actually see I got a little shout-out. I worked pretty heavily on the rebalancing of Hidden. Uh, my big idea for Sneak Artist uh, changing it was to give it the uh, oversized knife, which was a different relic that said from turn 4 your max combo goes up by 1. I was like, that should just be base functionality of the starting relic. So we threw that in there. And we put the what Slash used to have, if at combo 0, combo 1, onto Sneak Artist as well. So it's much easier to gain combo these days. We wanted to make Swift cards better to play, because previously the best way to play Hidden was just to sit on your max combo and only play the balanced cards, like Hidden Blades and Silent Shivs and all that. Um, and it's definitely a lot stronger to just spend your combo nowadays. In this deck, we're spending it mostly on underhanded tactics and the blender. Yeah, okay, let's let's just take upgrades. Then we don't have enough to buy out. I'll just take a black and an energy because I don't think I'm going to use the green. Two black stones is probably not necessary. There's not anything like super amazing to put it on. So let's buff up the Mithril Blades, and probably just wanted to draw discards. Let's go with Juggle. Okay, uh, what do we even do with this Blackstone? Blackstone Juggle? Blackstone Battle Plan is 
also interesting. Thanks, Jerim. Yeah, I've uh, so I've been on like the internal testing team of this game for a while, but now I'm actually involved in uh, balancing and designing of content too, uh, which is super cool because this game's awesome and the uh, people who are working on it are awesome. And it's uh, been a lot of fun to uh, help out. I kind of want to put the blackstone on the exploit just for the void. Because that way we can put four stacks of Vuln down at once. And when he drops off vulnerable, it's three at a time. Oh, but no, that's not, that's not actually enough because it goes down by one each turn. So, yeah, that doesn't actually help much. I would have upgraded this and then put the Blackstone on. It been yeah, we need we would need to be playing five Vuln. That to matter. You know, a Blackstone Thief's Code is actually really good against the Void, too, if we don't kill the minions quickly. That'll really help sift through the garbage. I kind of like that, truthfully. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Oh. Okay, what are we dealing with now? Uh, delay block 6 each turn is okay. This is massive if we can line it up on the right turn. Healing, I mean, we shuffle a lot, but I don't think the healing is gonna be that big. Hmm. Three defensive options here. We're always doing this. Um. So... I feel like we're okay against this fight. I'm probably gonna use an energy potion in the blue versus void. So I'll use one other energy potion against the next vault guardian we fight. So that means against this fight I can do something stupid like patience. Or actually, uh, if I fight the spiders, I could use the explosive potion against them. So I should probably grab the Retaliate spell. Makes the spiders pretty easy. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's try this. Yeah, this should be good. Belt energy potion just in case. I could, but I feel fine with just having a health pot in anyway. Okay, because we really need the smoke bomb here. I have the Retaliate, of course. Um, is my volume a bit low? I tried to tweak some settings to make it louder, but my mic is just... I don't have the, the highest quality <laughs> microphone, so it's a little bit quiet. Am I quiet in relation to the music, or just quiet in general? in general yeah uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how much there is I can do about that I am not the most knowledgeable when it comes to uh, changing audio settings but I tried to like turn up uh, gain and stuff hope that would help but uh, yeah sorry about that How do we gain combo here? Is it really just with this quickness? I don't think we're gonna do Thief's Code, are we? I don't know, it is very important that we get to Gusher specifically. Thief's Code helps a lot for that. So here's what I'm gonna do. Bit of a problem. 
problem. We can still do some drawing with like the blender. And we need to get a combo back by double triggering. Okay, let's play blender. This gives combo, but we don't need it. Let's give rage though. Okay, I'll ditch this. Juggle. Oh, come on! Bottom three cards. It's the bottom card! You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, but we need energy now. If they discard hidden blades, then it's urge. Actually, we're in. Uh, some trouble. So we need to play the pack for combo, right? I mean, this gives us the same amount of. No, it doesn't give us the same amount of combo. This puts us to three, this puts us to two. So we have to purge this, and then we can gusher and combo. We have 175 rage. I think that's enough. Yeah, okay, we got there. Whew! Bottom card of the deck, gusher. But we got there, we got there. Explosive Potion definitely came clutch. See, there we go, Dan. Uh, brew Explosive Potion saved the day. <laughs> it's still got its uses. Although, I, I do still agree that it's generally superior in the belt. Okay, Energy Potion. And yeah, we'll just rack the health pot here. I bet my spell's on cooldown now. I don't think I'm going to change it. Old potion in the belt trick, that's right. Yeah, no changes here. Let's <clears throat> let's take this guy on, get our rage blessing for the void. Really hope that we can line it up with a good gusher turn. Okay, um definitely just gonna start with a blunder. More or less ensure that we always have clover value. Kind of want to hold the quickness here for block. Kind of want to just draw deeper in order to get these cards. But this is honestly one of the best block cards in my deck. It's kind of sad, but it's true. We'll get boots too. Thirty-seven damage. Okay, while well we pitch that. Really a turn for agility because we're gonna gain combo with quickness. So do it this way. Uh, I'm always gonna purge you. I don't really want to do underhand tactics here, so we'll block for ten that way twice. And now the quickness gets us the rest of the way. Plus it gives us our combo. We can play mithril blades, and we're not gonna. We see a lot of cards every turn now, man. With the Clover and double uh, Thief's Code. Pretty sick. Yeah, that Quick Escape has been amazing. We picked that up like floor two or something. And it's been really, really good. Um, I see Rage. I see Rage. I see Gusher. I think I know what we're doing this turn. Purge that, double gush, some vulnerable, some more rage, do this, click, click. I guess we'll save that as like the, f the finisher, more rage, get hidden bladed my friend. Alright, feeling pretty confident here going into the void. Oh yeah, if you didn't notice the room, we are playing on I-30. Uh, we're just kind of trying to show off some of the new stuff. So I figured we'll save the I-50 for a little later. Alright, energy potion. Uh, I think the patience potion is actually going to be better here because uh, 
we know we're getting massive rage on the third turn, so we just use this the turn before, and then we can probably do good stuff. We didn't have to use our spell, so it'll be ready to go for this fight. Feeling good, feeling good. And the Double Thief's Code will help out a lot with this garbage that gets put in our deck. Gain combo. We also need energy though to play the Mithril Blades. Because we might need to spend a bunch of energy drawing to get to it. So I will skip on the quickness. There's the first trash card on the deck. Okay, and we drew the other one here. Okay, this is not the right turn. I want to have this on a different turn. Although, I mean, I might need this for the void specifically, and maybe I can't use it on the little guys. Ooh. Tough call. We're always discarding that. And I think, honestly... Discard that. Go ahead and blend. We're going to keep most of the... Yeah, we might be able to just set up the victory next turn. I don't think we're going to outright kill, but it should get us close enough. So we're going to use the draw potion on this turn. That's a fact. Okay, Mithril Blades. That's big. So overcharge, 3 out of 8. We're going to have 6 out of 7, which is perfect. Yeah, I think this is all we do here. We do this. The Retaliate, unfortunately, will only be triggering off of one attack. But we should be in great shape here. We'll have the exploit. Okay, here's our free rage. Get rid of the garbage and just this useless parry. Okay, so we spend energy first. Actually, we can do some interesting stuff here. If we underhanded tactics first, it boosts our max energy, and then we can purge more. Purge the Jubble Heater. I think the answer is yes. And then, we double gusher. Quickness, agility, juggle, for the garbage, spell. These are 60 apiece, and there's 20 of them. That's pretty good. Now we vulnerable you. That was a pretty good turn. <laughs> that was a pretty good turn. I don't even care that I'm taking 35. It does not matter. Probably. Um. Yeah, why not? We'll trigger it. Maximally. Cool, we got exploit. What am I even really looking for here? Underhanded, I guess. There it is. Uh, we don't need both of these. The void has been voided? Yeah, he sure has. <laughs> he sure has. Excellent. We have seven stacks of Vuln now. Yeah, Bleed's about to finish him off at this rate. X 
soil star. Six combo. And the blades are triggering nine times? Yeah, nine times. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Good run. Alright. That was a fun one. That was a fun one. We did some unusual stuff in the first floor. We skipped an elite to get a secret room. Uh, it ended up being a good decision, I would say. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go fill up some water real quick, and then let's do another run, alright? 